All right, time to take you to the Nigeria exchange where it closed on a negative note amid sell offs and buy interest as the benchmark all share index depreciated by 43 basis points. The Nigeria exchange all share index closed at 46,960.29 points to reflect a decline of 0.43% from the previous trading day and a year to date return of 9.93%. Meanwhile, the market capitalization decreased by 109.76 billion naira. At the close of markets on Thursday, 24th March 2022, the stock exchange market values currently stand at 25.31 trillion naira at the end of the trading day. The market breadth closed positive as Veritas Capital led 16 gainers and 14 losers, topped by RT Brisco at the end of the day session. The stock market has advanced 4,243.85 basis points since the start of the year. Now we'll look at the market summary where the all share index closed at 46,960.29 points. That's a decline of 43 percent with 4,003 deals. That's a 2.34 percent. And then the volume traded was 214.69 million at the 62 billion uh, Naira shares that uh, the value of the stocks traded yesterday. And then the market capitalization closed at 25.31 trillion Naira. Now we look at the top gainers of the day. Veritas Capital gained uh, the market yesterday. And then we see them uh, gaining 9.52% to close at uh, 23 Kobo. FCMB gained 7.46% uh, to close at 3 Naira 60 Kobo, Custodian gained 7.14% to close at 7 Naira 50 Kobo, while Oando gained 6.38% to close at 5 Naira. And now to the top 5 decliners, we'll see RT Brisco uh, losing 9.72% to close at uh, 65 Kobo, uh, GPLC lost 9.09% to close at uh, six Kobo and then also we see Sterling Bank losing 3.8% to close at one Naira 52 Kobo. Flour Mill also dipped 3.13% to close at 31 Naira. All right, to analyze what went down at the market yesterday, we have Ambrose Amodio, CRO, as the Chief Research Officer at Invest Data Consultant Limited, joining us via the phone. Thank you so much, Ambrose, for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Now, the market saw a loss, and it is the third time in the week where investors lost 109.76 billion naira on a Thursday as a result of the heavy pullback in the market. That's a 0.43% negative curve as the all share index dropped from 47,000 to 46,000. What would you say is responsible for this pullback? Yeah, actually, I would say that yesterday market was a a missentiment in the market yesterday, but because of uh, highly capitalized, uh, capitalized stocks, so far of the year, it put the market into red. At the same time, when the market below the 47,000 mark, which I've been saying that once the market go below that, it confirms a decline phase of the market. But the only is here that investors see that, that as of right yesterday activities, we saw a positive market rate. At the same time, we saw a buying and a selling sentiment within the day. But mm. because the price of uh, no GT code was adjusted for a dividend of two naira seventy kobo and NTN so far losses in addition to flower in Nigeria, the market end positively uh, and uh, negatively for the day. Despite the, the, the positive uh, market break, it tells you that it's because of this high cap that uh, that so far loss that threw the market down to what it is that close the But for me, as far as that we are seeing some missentiment and the uh, sell off in the fixed income market because the uptick in the uh, in, in, uh, inflation, as I'm saying, in the in January and February mm. report from NPC, and only that we are seeing factors that want to kind of put no pressure on inflation and prices of uh, goods are going up and cost of production that are going to have a lot of uh, high energy related uh, to uh, you know, and fuel and others. We expect that that inflationary uh, fear of pressure will push some of the you know, investors of former uh, fixed income market out of their position to start to give up of equity for defensive uh, stock. And at the same time, if you want to play equity market at the time, now that we're looking at you know, high cost of uh, 
companies in Nigeria have done back for integration. At the same time, which companies also in Nigeria are able to pass the high cost of their goods and services to no to to their consumer or client that do not affect their patronage in their products. These are stock in the market and that is the only way to make against inflation because those are going to sell off in fixed income market because of no expected the rise in inflation. They want to look at where you know would they put uh put their phone. How is that some stocks have the characteristics or the also to protect their top uh, their fund for them because mm. during inflation they, they will still be making money and their earnings will be good to impact their price at that particular time investors want to key into such companies for me what we saw yesterday is okay but only that it has caused this uh, for that i said earlier that has confirmed what a decline stage but it touch uh, the, the market touch as low as the uh, 46,931.38 uh, before the money to close you know the day at Actually, yeah, but but you sound very optimistic for the rest of the month. Uh, so it means that uh, what position actually should investors take uh, looking at this decline? Now, the volume of uh, Thursday's session dropped by 19.73%, while the value dipped by 18.35%. Now, what do you think uh, should be the expectation of investors, especially during this season of correction? Yeah, well, like I just said earlier, that this is time for you to use your stop loss as you know, and get those companies that have not released their you know, audited results for 2021. And it's potential because we have seen their Okay, let's look at the top five gainers. We saw that investors rallied for small capitalized stocks like Veritas Capital and then shares of Custodian as Veritas Capital closed at uh, 23 Cobol after two Cobol gain. And then Custodian went up by 50 Cobol to close at 7 Naira 50 Cobol. Why do you think investors are pitching their tent here? No, if you look at uh, for, for capital, uh, for Veritas Capital and you know, assurance, mm. it's an insurance company. I would say the movement is just market forces. But for custodian uh, investment, so this is a company that I'm mean, consistent in paying dividends. That's why that the last time they pay was around the uh, 40 global and it's below market expectation. But because of the expectation of the company, and being also in uh, other financial sector, or see activity, but any investor that is taking position should see what's attracting you into that company. If you see the earnings that are attracting you, or for the technical, it's hard to invest. Don't just jump into the company because the price is going up. Look at what is the pattern and what is the earnings coming? But I tell you that any time, any day that factors that drive 
back of the company that had over here and in the month of April. They hold on a smart investor to start showing ahead of this number because if you take it to the as the number comes in April at their positive, you are both now that the market is pulling back and it goes up once the resource is market, you're already in profit to come back. That's mm. why you know any investor that really wants to make money the market must up is give sense of knowledge and also sense of different analysis. And that is why we're having a you know, master class in April because where investors will be, known, will be kind of guided on how to, to, to pay this market with less risk and continue to earn to earn good money in the rest of the uh, All right. in between a quarter two in twenty twenty two. That is how to invest. Okay, let's take a breather, Ambrose. We'll be back. The conversation will continue after this break. Please stay with us. still reviewing yesterday's stock market performance and Mr. Ambrose Amodio is still on the phone line with us. Now we just talked about the gainers but on the flip side we saw Artsy Berisco uh, was back in the red losing about 7 cover to close at 65 cover while Sterling Bank lost about 6 cover to close at 1 Naira 52 cover. Why are we seeing this recent decline in the shares of the stocks? Well, uh, Artsy Berisco for the past uh, uh, days has been on a decline that investors are selling down. Actually, when the price moved from around the uh, uh, basic level to almost four naira, it was just sentiment and just uh, expectation, and the news that supported the price of the company. There was no other matter to support the value in uh, Arab Spring. Correction at this point uh, is not surprised to me, also, at uh, other companies. But I don't say investors that if any company that does not have an investor, it's a package of the price value to sell out and come out, don't be greedy. But you know that that's what is up now. That is not that the sense of the problem for the stock is not for me. It's not too you know how that the market is more. It's not uh the stock is not a kind of uh so that you can see you want to sell you see buy immediately. But now that it's coming I tell you that people are in the stock now because they have to obviously the market again where they can make the uh no income. For me, the the normal market uh of the movement that we are facing the uh but for the stock of uh selling back, selling back rally just yesterday. Now, Ambrose, before you go, let's uh, talk about this uh, recent update on Access Bank uh, trading license uh, holders. Trading license holders and the investing public uh, have been notified that trading in the shares of Access Bank PLC was suspended on Thursday, March 24, 2022. And the suspension is necessary to prevent trading in the shares of the bank in preparation for the eventual delisting of Access Bank PLC from the daily official list of Nigeria Exchange Limited and listing of the holding company Access Holdings PLC on the exchange. Now, what's your, what are your thoughts on this uh, development, Ambrose? Yeah. For, for me, you know, uh, it's a good uh, move in the right direction. Access as a kind of uh, you know, a expanded operation. By acquiring more banks outside the shore of the even within the So you saw it coming. So that, so that they are really in business. So what they did yesterday is for them to be able to list the, the holding company. And don't forget that, like a week ago, they, they got approval from the court so, from the highest court. That means any share you have in that sense is then your own. If you have two digital accounts, there's no change to their share in issue. What you have in that sense, when you go to the bank, I like the company. Mm. So, 
Mm. Sounds like you saw this coming. So what does it mean for the market? For me, this, this is also between the market because if we go to the future, we are seeing a headline on the market. Markets will rank about the 